my YouTube friends. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create this simple professional looking Twitch overlay for your live streams, complete with labels. And we're gonna do it all with totally free software. So let's get to it. Likes and comments are super easy things that you can do to help push this video to a wider audience. So take a second down below and let me know how I'm doing. And while you're there, click that subscribe button. It's totally free and it really does help me continue to make content that helps you. So thanks. We're gonna start by creating the overlay assets in Pixlr E. Pixlr is a free Photoshop type tool that's browser based and really easy to use. There's a link in the description so you can check it out and follow along. That is the best way to learn. In Pixlr E, we're just gonna go and create a new image and we want it 1920 by 1080. And we're gonna call it overlay and click create. We do not want a background just so you know. So now we have an empty image. We're gonna go and we're going to select this gradient tool here and we're gonna go up to the gradient. We're gonna select this one right here and as you can see, it goes from black to transparent and that's what we're looking for. And all we're gonna do is draw a line up from the bottom to the top and that's gonna add our gradient there. Looks really nice. We're gonna click on this arrow on the top left. Then we're gonna grab this corner and we're going to hold down the shift key so we can just drag it down in its full screen size and we'll leave it like that and there we go we have a cool little gradient there now we're going to select the shape tool and we're going to go up here and select shapes and we're going to drop down our shapes and you can see here there are a whole lot of shapes we can choose from we're just looking for stuff that's going to represent you know a subscribe and a super chat and that sort of stuff so we'll pick the star one here and all you have to do is go ahead and draw the star by dragging it if you hold the shift key you can make sure it's asymmetrical when you draw it out and we'll shrink it up and make it the right size we're going to go up here to fill and we're going to unfill it and then we're going to go to styles and we're going to add the outline and adjust the size of the outline and we're going to add a drop shadow here and this works kind of wonky especially when you have transparent background it's a little bit difficult to see so you just kind of have to mess around with the settings and we'll turn opacity all the way up and adjust the distance and the direction just so we kind of get exactly what we're looking for and then we can adjust the blur up a little bit and that looks pretty good I like that. So we're just gonna drag this down here to the lower left. And what I'm gonna do is duplicate it and drag the duplicate over here to the center of our screen or somewhere closer to the center. And then I'm gonna go up to our shape and I'm just gonna select a different shape. And I think one of these pluses will work, maybe a thinner one. And there we go. And then I'm gonna duplicate it again and drag it out a little bit further down the bottom here. And we'll just go up to the top and change the shape again. And we'll try maybe this heart. I think will work. And then I just wanna get the spacing right on these. So we're going to label each one of these anyways. So if it's a little ambiguous as to what it represents, that's fine. If you don't wanna use any of these shapes, you can also find your own and just bring them in here. But now we're gonna go up to file and export and we're gonna export it as a PNG. And I already have a file in here named overlay. So I'm just gonna overwrite that. And then I'm gonna go and create a new image. And this is also gonna be 1920 by 1080. We're just gonna call this one mask and click create. And then what I'm gonna do is select the shape tool and we'll drop this down and select the shape we want to use. Now this is going to be a mask for our camera so any of these shapes will work very well. They're all really cool. It really just depends on what you want your camera outline to be shaped like. I'm just going to choose one of these kind of torn paper looking things and then all I have to do is drag on the screen and once I let it go the center turns white and we can just export this and we'll export it as a PNG and we can just save it out. The name of it is mask and we're good to go. Now we have all of our assets created. Now all we have to do is set this up in OBS and get the stream labels set up. I'll use stream elements for the labels and again there's a link in the description and it's totally free. All right in OBS what we want to do is I'm going to click this plus and we are going to add an image and we can just call this overlay and click OK. And then we just need to browse to our image overlay and select it and click open. And there we go. So now our overlay is in there for our labels. And I'm just gonna start a game here real quick. We'll get that running in the background. I'm gonna shrink down my camera, put it right here and click the plus. 
and we're gonna add a game source here. I'm just gonna call it Lost Ark, click OK, and then OK, and there it is. So I just need to move my camera above the game so we can see it. Now we just need to put the mask on the camera, so we're gonna right click on the camera and go to Filters. Then I'm gonna click the plus and select Image Mask Blend and click OK. And I just need to browse to our mask and click Open. And that's all we need to do. Our mask is all set up on our camera. So now it has that cool paper torn outline looking way about it. Looks very awesome. So all we need to do now is add our stream labels to our live stream and we're gonna be ready to go. Just move the camera and put it in a location here. And we're gonna go over into stream elements and we're gonna create a new overlay. And this overlay is gonna be 1920 by 1080. And we'll go to add widgets and we'll go down to labels. And we're gonna go and select the subscriber and latest subscriber, last subscriber label. And you can see it puts it up here at the top. We can just drag it down a little bit. And I'm gonna click the plus and I'm gonna go to static custom and we're gonna go to image. And I'm just gonna load up our overlay image so that we know exactly where we wanna place our text. So I'll drag it on there and upload it. And then we'll submit to add it in here. And we'll go down to position and size and we'll put 1920 by 1080. So it is in the exact location that it should be on our screen. And we're gonna center it and there we go. So now we have our overlay in there. All we need to do is move our text to the proper location in this overlay and it snaps around so you can just use the arrow keys to move it and there we go so now we just need to click the plus and add the rest of our labels this time we're going to go to tips and we're going to go to latest and latest tipper and you can adjust what you actually want this to say so it doesn't have to say latest tipper you can just put in whatever the tip is if you'd like you can adjust what it actually says and we'll go to labels and we'll add a super chat latest and latest super chat and we'll drag that down into its proper location and use the arrow keys just to get it exactly where we want it and we'll move these over a little bit so they're centered and there we go so that's all we need to do for our layout what I'm gonna go and do is go into layers and I'm just going to go ahead and hide our image because we don't want that showing up we added that directly into our live stream then we can save this and we'll put a name on it and we'll just call it tutorial labels and click save and all we need to do now is click this little link button at the top it will copy our link into the clipboard now we're going to flip over into obs click the plus and we're going to go to browser and we'll call this one labels and click ok and we just need to paste that link right in here and change this to 1920 by 1080 and we'll just scroll down to the bottom and click refresh cache and okay and in a moment there it goes it popped up now you can see this one wraps around over here so what I want to do is go back into our stream elements and I'm gonna select these and move them up to the top of the box here that way if they do wrap around like that we don't have to worry about not being able to see them and all we have to do is click save and when we go back over over in OBS you can see it saves the position it puts them exactly where we just saved it and we are all set so now we can just grab our camera and place it wherever we want it to be and we're ready to live stream with a really cool very simple and professional looking overlay awesome stuff super easy stuff if you want to see how you can create an easy stinger transition for your live streams you should definitely check this video out big thanks to the channel sponsors there are links below so you can check them out supporting the sponsors helps me continue to make content that helps you and i couldn't possibly do this without them or you so thanks and if you're always looking for tools tips and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or youtuber subscribe to the channel my name is michael fire jr thank you so much for watching have a great day and i'll see you in the next one